Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the basic PowerShell commands. So go to your Windows icon, type in PowerShell and you will find a window like this. Okay. So the first command that we are going to take a look at is get dash help. Okay. With this command, you can ask for any specific reference for command for example if you are not aware of ls command then type in get dash help ls hit enter and you'll get the information about how to use this ls command okay and what you will see with that you can also get help on services okay it will collect all the information related to service okay and how to use that and what you need to know exactly for that is explained here okay it shows you about bits cmd lets and it shows information about background intelligent transmitted services okay so likewise you can find out information about any command or any input that you put into PowerShell with the help of get help now if you want to clear your PowerShell you use CLS command just like you use for command prompt now the next thing to look for is get dash process command this will list all the available services or process on your windows be it started or stopped all will be listed with get dash process Okay. With the help of filter sandpipes, you can find out specific service of your choice. But to list all of them, you just use get dash process and hit enter. Now, the next command is get dash command. Okay. So if you want to know a particular operation of our ls command or say get help or get member or any other command to get that sort of information just type in get dash command ls and here you see what this command type is and what it does so basically it is ls command type it will get the child atom within itself okay likewise you can also get information about let's say get member and it will tell you the type its name and module okay the next command we will take a look is get dash item now i want to use this command to get the information about particular file let's say node.xml is on same drive where I'm running this command and you can see it shows the file type information directory and folder structure where it is stored its length name last write time okay now we will also see how to get content of any file so we type get dash content then name of the file and we hit enter and we get the content of that file printed in text format on PowerShell okay so whenever you want to print out content of any particular file use get dash content if you want to know the time or when the type of specific file is created then you use get dash item now the next command that we will look is ping localhost this is a very simple command that you can use on powershell as well as command prompt it will ping your localhost connection and show the result of packet sent received and if there is any loss or not okay likewise there is one more basic command that you should know is ipconfig 
it will show you the information related to your network interface your IP address and few other details okay one more thing is with command get dash module so when you use this command you can find out the list of modules that are installed on system so here you see we have two modules PowerShell utility and management these two modules are available on my computer in your case it could be more okay so let's also take a look at git dash module then list available which should print the similar result or it will not find anything specific unless there is any particular to show okay that being said these seven are some of the simple and easy to remember powershell commands okay you can use same command prompt commands on windows powershell as well